It has been more than three decades since a Battle Creek teenager was brutally murdered in Florida. Now her killer may finally be executed. A relative of the victim who still lives in Battle Creek is hoping the family's long awaited justice is finally coming. 13 on your sides, Brent Ashcroft has been following this controversial case. Recently spoke with that family member here in Michigan. He joins us now with more. Brent. Shelly Boggio grew up in Battle Creek. She was only 14 when she died in 1985. Two men were tried, convicted, sentenced, and imprisoned for killing her. One of them received the death penalty for it. But new evidence in the case is sparking attorneys to fight for exoneration, something a Boggio family member here in Michigan says would be an unconscionable development to a tragedy that's consumed her whole life. 34 years. That's all of my adult life. The execution chamber, Florida State Prison. We all thought that it would happen a lot sooner. Andrea Boggio plans to fight through her fear. I have never stepped foot in the state of Florida because I'm afraid I'm going to die. Occupy one of these seats. It's hurt too many people. And watch. It's not like he just hurt her. He murdered her. As James Daly is put to death for killing her cousin Shelly. Her life needed to matter. Shelly Boggio and her family moved from Battle Creek to Kenneth City, Florida in 1984. A year later, she found herself in the wrong place with the wrong people. It's horrible what they did to her. Her mutilated body was found along Indian Rocks Beach. They stabbed her 31 times and drowned her. Witnesses said Shelly was with two men that night, James Daly and Jack Piercy. She was seen in a bar with them. A knife belonging to Piercy was found near Boggio's body, but when questioned by authorities, Piercy implicated Daly. Both men were tried and convicted of first degree murder. Piercy was sentenced to life. Daly got death. No physical evidence or eyewitness testimony linked Daly to the crime, but statements from three jailhouse informants did. He's been on Florida's death row since 1987. Two years ago, new evidence surfaced that Daly's attorneys say casts doubt on his guilt. A signed affidavit from Piercy saying he alone was responsible for Shelley's murder. But when he testified in court about it, Piercy invoked the Fifth Amendment. How are we going to be at peace if we have killed an innocent man? This development triggered some Florida groups to call for Daly's exoneration. I believe he's innocent based on everything that I've been able to experience and to read, but because I am a death row minister, I can't talk about that or analyze it, but I believe it. There is something about this story that calls a, a more careful review. Florida's governor signed Daly's death warrant in September. Daly immediately filed an appeal, which was later rejected by the Florida Supreme Court. His execution was scheduled for November 7th, but Daly was awarded a temporary stay until December 30th because federal law allows 90 days for his new legal team to review the case. It's not fair that this guy keeps getting chances. The burden of waiting has fallen on Andrea. It just keeps coming back. And three of Shelly's half-sisters, because everybody from Shelly's immediate family is gone. It's up to us members that are left to do this for them. Is the state of Florida about to put an innocent man to death? This is a gratuitous killing. It's not going to bring anybody back to life. Will the Boggio family get what they believe is justice for Shelley? He committed it. If Daly is finally strapped to this. I don't have any pity for him at all, and I won't. Andrea plans to travel from Battle Creek and be here to witness their 34-year nightmare. An eye for an eye. End. Shelley isn't forgotten. James Daly's attorneys have until December 30th to make their appeals in court. They're trying to request a new trial so they can enter the new evidence, which includes witness testimony and Jack Piercy's affidavit. Meantime, Andrea will continue to wait and hope that justice will ultimately come for Shelley and the few remaining members of the Boggio family. Nick Juliet.